Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to install Active Directory Users and Computers for Windows 10. So as you can see here, I'm on Windows 2019. Uh, I think this is Windows 2016. And um, so I have Active Directory Users and Group and install. So if I want something like this installed on my Windows 10, I can do that. Let's go to my Windows 10 device. So here I have Windows 10 device. Um, the Windows 10 I have is versions um, 1909. Let's take a look. Winver. Oops, sorry. This is one is 1903. So with any Windows versions 1809 or above, you actually you can install it from um, the features. So you want to click on Windows and then click on the settings. Click on apps. Click on optional features. And click on add features. So again, it has to be Windows 10, 1809 and above to install it from this locations. Let's scroll down to RAS or RSAT Active Directory Domains Service and Lightweight Active Directory Service Tool. Click on it. And then click on install. The installation will take a few minutes. All right, look like it is being installed. Let's check back in a few minutes. Let's see if it has installed. Users. It's not there yet. I will check back again when the installation is completed. So with this add features, you can add a lot of stuff to it. Um, for example, the Active Directory certificate service, and also there's BitLocker uh, drive encryptions, and there's DHCP, DNS service tools. So even group policy management, you can add it to your computer Windows, to your Windows 10 PC. So as you can see here, it is installing. Um, it's going to take a few minutes. I'm, <clears throat> I'm just going to wait and uh, we'll come back. So that's how you install the Active Directory um, using groups for your Windows 10. All right, I think the installation is completed. Let's go in here and search users. Here it is, users. So it's Active Directory Users and Computers. Let's open it up. Hmm. So I'm having um, domain connections or Active Directory connection. So here is the tools. Now you should be able to um, manage any devices or users in your Active Directory. Thank you for watching and have a great day.